Hamnen.se webb-tv presenteras av BOG, Harken och Henry Lloyd. Är du en av dem som tröttnat på att plöja fram i snigelfart med tunga kölbåtar? Eller bara tröttnat på att värva besättningsmedlemmar varje gång det ska kappseglas? Kanske suktar du istället efter farten och seglingskänslan som en Formula 18-katamaran kan erbjuda. Men tycker det verkar lite jobbigt att hänga i trapets och gärna slipper unket luktande och svampbildande torrdräkter. Om du känner dig träffad ska du spetsa ögon och öron nu. Idag ska vi nämligen testa Seacart 26. Den sägs vara snabbare än det mesta och man behöver inte stå i trapets. För att sätta Seacarten på ordentligt prov tar jag med mig Torvar Murski från Australien. Han ligger i topp på World Match Racing Tour och har stått för de mest spektakulära manövrarna i Extreme Sailing Series. Oh, come on, let's get 20 knots and we'll just smash this thing. It's a lot of fun. It's uh, either a small big boat or a big small boat, depending on which way you look at it. It's uh, very comfortable for someone with uh, a little bit of multi-hull experience, but also stable enough for those that don't. It's coming from a mono-hull background to really be able to jump on board and have a great time. The 26 has built epoxy e-glass in the hulls with areas of carbon fibre reinforcing. Uh, the, the beams and the, the rig is all carbon fibre and it's all produced in-house. The curved foils produce a lot of lift. They produce up to 400 kilos of lift on each float. Uh, it's a very noticeable difference. What it does is make the boat a lot safer to sail but also a lot faster. We imagine that the, the one design rule will allow either three or four people. Uh, we're looking at a minimum crew weight of 280 kilograms, so there's a little bit of room to, to play with that in terms of crew numbers. And the boat's actually rated for five people, so if you want to use it in corporate events or just go out sailing with friends, then five people is fine on board as well. To reduce the cost and maintain a reasonable level of pricing, we've built the boating materials that uh, help help that. You know, as I said, it's not all carbon fibre. Uh, so the boat's priced at uh, around a million crowns on the water ready to go racing. Uh, that's a lot less than what a Seacart 30 is built in far more exotic materials. We had it in the gust probably like over 20 knots, but still doing, well, we were doing over 20 knots. We were going the same same uh, speed as the wind was blowing. Really, really cool and couldn't really feel any drama in it. We had one no star, but it's, it was just because we were pushing it. All right, the wind getting on again, let's go. Yeah. You're pretty full on with, uh, with three guys in this boat, just like, If you can compare it to sailing a keelboat, you, you really have something to do all the time instead of just sitting around. Right, Tor, so, I mean, this boat has uh, curved foils. Yeah. And for me, it seems pretty obvious that it should have. But if you look at the AC45s and the Extreme 40s, it doesn't have it. Like, Why is that? What do you think? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure what the uh, exact right answer is for the boat. I mean, the designers have got to get that stuff right. I can just tell what it feels like a yeah, little bit. Yeah, well, it doesn't feel like that. I mean, the 45s, they have, don't have curved foils, but they're on an angle. Yeah. So that might do half the job anyway. Um, but I, I, my feeling is that the curved foils help this boat, and I think that's a good thing. I think it's better than just a a vertical foil, so I, I think the guys have done a good job there and the raising system is quite neat and it just feels good. Yeah. Um, so, foils tick. <laughs> in this uh, in this breeze, how much faster would you think uh, Extreme 40 would be? On sample. 
I don't think top speeds would be much different. It's just that they'll go higher upwind and lower, point lower downwind. Yeah. So, so of course racing is a bit different. But yeah. So you extreme forty will beat around the track, but not necessarily with much more speed. Uh, we create boats you can really push hard, up to you know it could be up to thirty knots of breeze, and you're still pushing, and that's uh, that's what I have on my agenda. And also we want to build the boats very simple. So if you have say a one design class like a Meldia, so J boats and so on, you can step into this one and in fuck, this is easy, it's no problem. So you just have to concentrate on learning a small few small tricks to get on with it and my god you're gonna have fun. I'd, I'd recommend it to the average person. I mean, personally, I'm not really a fan of anything being compromised, <laughs> and uh, I, I want, I want, you know, to flat out the best stuff and full on racing, eh? Obviously, you know, the C cart for its goals, it's got to, you know, be a bit cheaper. It's got to be accessible to the average person, and I think, um, you know, personally, I want, a, I want a boat that's absolutely the most expensive and fastest and best thing. But I'm a huge fan of one design racing and. Uh, for, for most people who are out there, you can just go for a weekend race or something like that. Um, this is, to me, is a lot more fun than uh, some 40-foot Bavaria or something that costs three times as much and you can just go exactly. five knots or something, you know? After I've seen the C-Cort 26 now, one day out when it's been very puffy and very different, so I've really had to experience what it's going for. And I can promise you that you who are a sailboat, you must experience this here. Det är så enormt mycket roligare. Det är liksom knop som tickar upp så fort en, en by kommer. Istället för att man bara sitter och smålirar på rodret och tittar på instrumenten. Här är det snabba rörelser och det går fort som 17. Och även de som har tittat på katamaransegling och tror att det är liksom blött och, och, och jäkligt. Då kan man köpa en sån här istället och få en bekväm men riktigt snabb segningsupplevelse. Sikart 26 levde upp till förväntningarna, absolut.